Turns out there's so much that goes into getting sales. Your cover design needs to be on par, it needs to be eye-catching, you need to do some keyword research to determine what competition you're up against and to figure out what keywords to use in your metadata, you need to have good reviews, you need to know how to use ads if you're going to do Facebook ads or Amazon ads or Instagram ads or TikTok, you need to know how to take advantage of word of mouth marketing. There's so much self-promoting that goes on and if you have been working on promoting your book, you're probably well aware of how tedious this can be. Just self-promoting and self-promoting and self-promoting and honestly, it starts to feel really unfulfilling because you're doing all this work and you're trying to promote yourself but nothing good is really coming of it and you start to feel a little salesy, a little sleazy perhaps or you just feel tired, you just feel worn out and you feel like nothing good is coming of it, okay? Now, what you want, what do you want? What does success look like for you as an author? Maybe you want to be a best-selling author. That could be an Amazon best-selling author, it could be a New York Times bestseller, you name it. Maybe you'd like to earn some money off your book. I mean, who wouldn't, right? Perhaps you want to replace your full-time job and you want to actually make a living as an author. Maybe you just want people to read your book. Maybe you don't care about becoming a bestseller or earning a lot of money off of it. Maybe you really just want to make a contribution to the world and you want people to enjoy the book that you took so much time to write, right? Or maybe you just want the chance to network with other authors and you want to reach out to a new group of people and you want to meet people and work together with other people. Or maybe you just need a creative outlet. For me, that's a big one because as a mom, I've got two little girls and they keep me busy and it's super fun. But at night, when I sit down to relax, it's usually not taking a hot bubble bath with lavender essential oils, right? It's writing, that is my creative outlet and it is very relaxing for me and it helps me to find time for myself as well and take care of myself. So whatever it is that you want from becoming a successful author, whatever success looks like to you, okay, let's put it on a piece of paper, stick it up on your wall and make sure that you can see that, that it's visible, really readily visible, okay? I want to talk about a breakthrough that I had, okay? Because after I published some of my books, they weren't doing well. I wasn't making any sales. I published predominantly through Amazon KDP. I tried draft to digital um, to get it spread out to some other sources as well, but wasn't making any sales. And I felt like I was putting my heart and soul into these books. I was putting in so much work and time and energy and effort and nothing was coming of it. And it was so frustrating. And I joined Facebook support groups and I talked to other authors and I asked them what they were doing. And turns out a lot of them were running into the exact same problem because we're really great at writing, or at least we're working on it, right? We love writing. But when it comes to the marketing side of things, you know, a big M word, like hardly anybody knows how to do it. And even those of us who do know how to market our books still aren't doing super well. And there is, this is the reason why, because everybody is trying to market their book in a super duper oversaturated market. There are bajillions of books out on the market, right? There have been for years and years and years and years. We've been <laughs> creating books, like almost since the history of time, not really, but we've got lots of books, right? Now, I was spending all my time promoting my books, promoting myself, right? And at some point I started promoting my services as well. I really started to enjoy cover design and I started to enjoy just the self-publication process. I really wanted to help other authors get through self-publication as well. And so I started promoting my services. I went to um, Upwork, which is a freelancing site. I tried Freelancer and still wasn't having a whole lot of luck there either. And I was really stressed out because I had already spent a ton of money, over a thousand dollars on my books, trying to promote them, trying to create them, learning how to put them together, pulling them through the self-publication process. And I was a little bit stressed out because I wanted to make that money back. You know, I wanted to actually be not in the hole. I wanted to have, I wanted to come out on top. I, at the very least, that would have made me happy. Made me happy, right? But, and this is my breakthrough. So at some point I realized, you know what? Me promoting myself, it's not doing anything. It's not doing any good. 
it's not helping anybody, it's not helping me, it's not helping other authors, it's just not doing any good. But genuinely, I want to learn and I know that I have tons of skills that I already can offer, that I've already learned and developed, that I can contribute to the author community. Because I know that there are hundreds and thousands of other authors out there who are struggling just like me. And wouldn't it be so great if I could just help even one of them overcome some of their struggles along the self-publication process? Or even if they're working towards traditional publication, trying to get their manuscript written in the first place, that can be a huge process. You know, getting over um, writer's block, that's, that's huge, right? Just getting everything done on paper. So I started to shift my mindset. And instead of thinking, how am I gonna get the money? How am I gonna get the money? How am I get the money? I just started thinking, who am I gonna help? How am I gonna help? How am I gonna give value? How am I gonna contribute to the world? How am I gonna find authors who are looking for help? That's it. I wasn't worried about the money anymore. I didn't think, how am I gonna get paid? I didn't think, when am I gonna hit zero? When am I gonna get all my money back that I spent on my books, that I invested into my business that I created? Instead, I just started creating value for people. And luckily, this isn't too hard to do because when you go to Facebook groups, Facebook support groups with authors, and you tell them, uh, you start, you put a post on there and say, hey guys, I just published this new book, please go buy my book or leave a review. Or, you know, even if you give a little synopsis and you say, look, I created this book for moms because I love moms and I had a really hard time with my children when I first became a mom and I was really stressed out, so I made this book for moms. Here you go, moms. You know, even if you offer it for free, it's not allowed. <laughs> like 99% of group administrators won't allow it. They'll delete the post, it's gone. It doesn't work, right? Not to mention the fact that if it was allowed, that every other author author would be doing the same thing and it's authors promoting to authors. It's not really doing anybody any good, okay? So it doesn't sell books, it just doesn't work. But if you go onto a Facebook group community and say, hey guys, I'm learning X. I'm learning how to do formatting for books and I would really like to just get some more practice. Um, I'm wondering if there are any authors out there who would like their book to be formatted. Completely free, I'm not selling anything, I just wanna help out and I'd like to learn a skill as well, I'd like to practice. Totally kosher, like, I mean, who can fault you for that? How, how, how would they get mad at you for that, right? So this is what I did, because I really wanted to learn, right? And so I went onto one of my Facebook groups that I was an active participant in and I posted on there and said, hey guys, I, I am learning cover design, I'm learning Photoshop right now, and Adobe Illustrator, and I really enjoy it, and it's a lot of fun, but for me to give myself projects doesn't feel very fulfilling, and so instead, I wanted to reach out to you guys and see what cover designs you guys need help with, and it's completely free, I'm just learning, I'm pretty new to Photoshop and Illustrator, so I'm not going to charge you guys anything, I won't be mad if you don't like the cover design or if you choose not to keep it but I am offering this free service to you guys. And I got a really good response. I think I got about 15 replies, which was perfect for me because anything more than that would have been really overwhelming because making even just one cover design, especially as a newbie, takes a long time, especially when you're getting feedback from the authors and they're letting you know what adjustments they need made and how to make the book or the cover reflect better the book that they've created because they know their book better than anybody, right? And that's a really long process. And at the same time, I was watching tutorials about Photoshop to learn the skills that I needed to put these book covers together and I was looking at other book covers. I went to Barnes and Noble on a date with my husband and we just spent the whole time looking at cover designs because I just was trying to get as much information as I could. But this did two things. It did more than two things, but I'm gonna list two of them. For one, it created these awesome relationships with these people that I was working with. I was networking and I had no idea that that's what I was getting into. Another person said, hey, is there anything that I can do for you? And I said, you know, it'd be great if you'd be willing to just share one of my books on your social media. And it turns out she had a bookstagram. <laughs> and so she shared it on social media. Super awesome. And I was helping her create Facebook ads as well. That was something that I was doing with my Illustrator account that I had. And we got a mutual benefit from that, right? And 
another lady was, um, she had just created a traditional publishing business and said that she would actually be happy to publish some of my books. So I had like a little connection there, which is really cool. And I got to, to start creating covers for her business on a regular basis. And I was happy to do it for free because we were creating these really cool connections and relationships. And I did not go into it thinking, oh, I need to network. I need to have like 15 contacts by the end of two weeks. You know, there was, there was nothing like that. I literally just wanted to learn and I wanted to help people. I really, really wanted to be able to reach out and connect with other authors. And it was so cool. I, I like seriously, because they were grateful. I was grateful. There was all this learning that was going on at the same time. And so I started thinking, what if we could replicate this and just create a community of authors where we're all helping each other and we're all working together and there's no self-promoting because every single one of us is promoting each other's work. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about this community that we've put together in the next video. But this is, this is where the idea came from. And honestly, I... I think this is awesome because I have been so frustrated for such a long time at the fact that the market is so competitive. We say that all the time. We hear it all the time. The market is competitive, right? But why should it be? I, I mean, you know, we act as if there's not enough pie for everybody, you know, and you hear people say, oh, there's, there's enough pie for everybody. Everybody can get their slice of the pie, right? But then we don't act like it. We act like we still have to beat the competition like we have to win we have to be the best but <laughs> so that doesn't make any sense that, that doesn't mesh but if you think about it if we have this community where everybody is genuinely helping each other and promoting each other think about how powerful this is like i said i'm going to get into it more in the next video but just as a small example you know say you come into this community say there's a thousand authors in there just like you who are wanting to learn they're wanting to grow they're wanting to publish their books and become successful authors whatever that success looks like and you come into the the industry and you have a a, a fantasy that you're writing and you come in and maybe you've written most of the book but now you have free access to a whole bunch of other authors who can read your book and they can give you some edits or some suggestions, they can give you tips, they can give you feedback on your novel. So it's not just you who's trying to figure out and, you know, decide, well, d did I write a good book? Like, where are there plot holes, right? Okay, then they, then you have critique partners on there and you start reading their books and they read your books and you give each other feedback and then you know, maybe you want to learn cover design, but you know it's going to take you a long time to develop the skills to create your own cover. So you find somebody else in the Facebook group who is trying to learn it as well, but they've been doing it for a little while and they're really eager and ready to start creating covers for other authors. And so you find somebody in this Facebook group who creates you a cover and they do it for free because they want to, they're learning, right? And at the same time, in return, then maybe you can read their book and leave them a nice review on Amazon or you can give them some feedback, or maybe you're really great at formatting, and so you format their book for them, or you give them some feedback on their formatting. So as you can see, it's, it's authors helping authors. And then at the end, then we have a group launch. And this is where the real cool power comes in together, because everybody's got their platform. Everybody has their author website, or their social media, or their YouTube channel. Everybody's got something. And because of this, if we have a group launch, then all we have to do is put your book on the post on this this community and tell everybody, all right guys, we're gonna launch this book now and get people together who like fantasy and have them share it to all of their social media profiles. And then all of a sudden you have like, you know, 300 people who are interested in fantasy that are sharing your book for free, free promotion. Moral of the story is that successful authors have a community. I want you to write that down, bold it, highlight it, circle it, draw little stars and hearts around it. Successful authors have a community. And what I mean by this is that you can't do this alone. You can, but you're going to wear yourself out and it's not going to be super productive. But if you can network and you can get feedback from other authors or other readers even, 
and you can practice some of the skills that you've been working on. So in this course, you're going to learn formatting and cover design and editing and proofreading and a whole bunch of different skills, right? And then if you can take those and apply them not just to your own manuscripts, but also to the manuscripts of other authors, then you have even more practice and you're sharpening those skills, right? You also get moral support because uh, like pretty much any creative endeavor, be, being an author, writing and creating a book and promoting your book can be very discouraging at times. I mean, anything can. Basically, anything that is worth doing is going to be discouraging at times. And when you have a community that you can reach out to, then they can boost you up. They can give you moral support. They can tell you, hey, you know what? I've been there too. I totally understand. And we can share uplifting music with each other and quotes, inspirational quotes, and um, just just give each other encouragement. That can be so valuable. Just that that part of having a community can be so valuable because I don't know about you, but when I am by myself and I am working by myself, it's so easy to start getting into my head and just start thinking, why am I doing this? One of the biggest thoughts that comes to my head over and over again is, what is even the purpose of me writing? There are so many books out there already on the market. There are millions and millions and millions of books. So what's the purpose of me trying to contribute a book myself? It doesn't really make any sense. But... When I do have that community, I'm reminded that uh, there are other authors that enjoy this as well, and there are readers that are going to enjoy my book. But most importantly for me, again, it's a creative outlet. It's something that is very uplifting for me and very productive, and there is a purpose for it. There is a purpose. Anytime that you have questions, you can go to your community and ask them questions, and you don't just feel like you're searching around on Google endlessly, but you can talk to real people face-to-face -face or, you know, text to text, whatever it is, and get some experience, some real life experience from them. And you know they're not trying to market something to you or promote their blog or their website. They have real life experience that they're sharing with you. And that's really valuable. Not to mention the fact that, you know, in a second you can post your question onto a support group and then like hundreds of people can respond as opposed to you spending hours and hours trying to search for an adequate answer on a search engine. Now, you also have access to other people's social medias. So one of the things that we do in our community is we create launch teams. So once your book is completely finished and it looks professional, it looks really good, it's been edited, it's got a great cover design, it's got a really good book, book blurb on the back, um, a description that's going to catch your reader and drag them in and get them to purchase your book right and start reading it once it's all ready to go it's all packaged up all nice and neat then we create a launch team and this isn't obligatory nobody is forced to participate in launch teams but it's highly encouraged because as you are helping in other people's launch teams other people are going to help in yours as well we just really want to support each other as much as possible and with this launch team if you have say you know 10 to 20 people on your launch team, um, upwards of maybe even 100 people, depends on how many people sign up for your launch and how many people we can get into this community, then, then every single one of them can take your book and they can read it and they probably know people who would enjoy your book as well and they can reach out and share the book with them or they can post it on their social media or maybe some of them have bookstagrams and they can post it on their bookstagram or their YouTube channel or a podcast that they're doing. You know, so many different authors have other things they're doing on the side besides writing that help to promote their material but that can also help to promote yours. And at the same time, it's giving us content, right? I've got a YouTube channel and every time that I work on a cover design, I like to post uh, a video on my YouTube channel of me doing a cover design for that author and then do a little shout out to that author as well which is great because for me it's giving me content for my channel and it's also giving the author an extra boost. Now I also wanted to share this story with you about this magic pill. If anybody has ever seen the movie Limitless, it's not like an amazing movie by any means. Honestly when I watched it I was a little confused at the end because there wasn't really any apparent moral. I didn't, I didn't really understand the purpose of the movie in the end, but I think it works really well to illustrate everything that we've been talking about. And this is why. Limitless is about 
a man who's actually an author, which works really well. So maybe you should go and watch the movie. Although I am gonna spoil it for you right here. So if you do wanna watch the movie, pause the video, go watch the movie, and then come back and we can talk about it. So this guy, I don't even remember his name to be completely honest. I'm gonna call him Bob. <laughs> so Bob is an author and he is just struggling. He's got writer's block. He has his girlfriend, but she's gonna leave him. Maybe she was even his wife. I don't know, but she's leaving and because he's just not doing well and he's struggling. He's got this rundown apartment and he just can't think of what he's gonna write and everything's just falling apart and his life is so rough and uh, just awful, you know, and dark. And they even, with the movie, I love how they do this. They have everything kind of grayed out and it just looks really dark and stuff. And then he has this encounter with this dude and ends up taking this pill almost by accident. But there's this drug that this guy is selling. And so he takes this drug and, and it's this magical drug that transforms this whole world. And suddenly the movie, the film is all in like this brilliant color. You need know, to see everything changes and his eyes open up and they're like bright blue. And he's suddenly got all this clarity that comes to him and he knows exactly what to write. And he like writes a whole book in one day and then he writes another book and he becomes a best-selling author and his communication skills dramatically improve and he's networking, networking and creating all these connections with people and he's just doing so well and he's like thriving, right? And he's moving up and up and up and up in society and making tons of money and I think he like gets the girl back and he's got a nice apartment and everything's just going well. As long as he's taking the drug. When he doesn't have the drug, then he goes right back to where he was and that's that. And he's actually like really worse off because there's some bad side effects. But towards the end of the movie, he actually figures out how to almost imbibe it. I, I don't really know how to describe what he does, but he learns how to basically be that person, live this life without taking the drug. So it's, it's almost like his mental chemistry just changes completely. And so he actually becomes that person and he's not taking the drug anymore. He doesn't need it at all. He just becomes this person and his life is amazing and he gets the girl back and He's running for governor or president or something like that at the end of the movie and he just looks really trim and, and he looks great, right? So I want you to imagine that I'm giving you this pill. A magic pill. Right now. Take it. All yours. Okay? It's free. And as long as you're taking this pill, you've got all this clarity and communication skills and everything. It's just your life is thriving, everything's working out, and you're going up and up and up and up, and everything's just, it's beautiful, it's working out. And you're writing, and you're publishing, and you're becoming a best-selling author, and everything's working out, okay? All because you're taking this pill. But, by the end of your story, you are able to become that person without taking the pill anymore. And how does this work? Now, I talked a lot about this a little bit already, but it all has to do with your mindset. You need to be telling yourself every step of the way that you are a best-selling author. You are a great communicator. You are great at networking. You have value to offer to people. You have so much to offer. You are writing because you want to influence people because you have this desire to create. You have clarity. There's no roadblock. You know, tell yourself that you are this person, this vision of success that you want to be, you're already there. Tell yourself, tell yourself, tell yourself, tell yourself, tell yourself every single day. And eventually your subconscious is going to change and your subconscious will affect your conscious and your life. And you're going to act like that person, that vision of success, and you will become that person, that vision of success. And then you don't need this magic pill anymore. You know, this magic pill, we could, say that this magic pill is just you telling yourself your mindset right we could say that's what your magic pill is we could also say that part of your magic pill is your community only problem with that idea is that you do need your community even after you reach success okay success equals people 
you can't just scrap your community once you've reached your, your idea of success. Okay, you, you still need your community, you need your people. I want to give you all the tools and resources that you need to be successful right now, even as you are developing the skills along the way. You're not gonna learn everything in a couple months. You're not gonna learn everything in a year. At a service level, yeah, perhaps a lot of these things I have learned within a few months, but there is so much more that I can delve into. There's so much more that I wanna learn. And I wanted to create this community where we feel safe to share with each other and learn together and grow together and make mistakes and get messy, but at the same time, create really awesome professional books and then help each other out. Because ultimately, the whole goal is to be successful authors and in my mind, success means learning and growth. It doesn't matter at the end of the day if we all become best-selling authors. I hope we do. I think that would be awesome. And I think that if we really work together that we can and we can do really well as authors, you know, financially and as far as selling a lot of copies go goes, I think we can do that. But at the end of the day, I really, really want us to just learn and be supportive of each other and grow. And if we can do that, then we're going to feel really good and we're going to learn a lot and it's gonna be a really cool community. 